How we doing? Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. My name is Clark. This is, this is, this is a vlog thing. But hey, we're back. We're back. You know what? Intros are freaking hard. Anyways, thanks. Thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for turning this on. It is, I think it's Wednesday. Why this is not going well. I am not starting out well. It's the end of day Wednesday, hump day. Thanks for coming. Carrie said I was, I was looking like a hot mess. So I, I combed my hair up all nice, all pretty. <laughs> Just so everybody knows that it's, it's possible. Now that that's over with. Packed day today. Again, here we are 12 hours after we sat down to do the things. I, the, the amount of like good stuff that's happening is, is so fun. It's neat to see things come together. It's neat to have set out, like kind of put some plans in play and like envision how something would work and what it would do. And I said that we were kind of late to getting things going, but that late was creating the ability for us to do what we're doing now. And to get feedback that people like seeing the different things and, and where things are headed is just it's amazing. It makes me feel good. It makes all of us feel good that we're, we're doing the right stuff. Today started and ended with signs. And it was what started yesterday, but we're kind of at this critical, we're at this critical place where we need to kind of get it off and done and all the things. There's been hours and hours and hours of conversation as to what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. We have to you know, adhere to like brand guidelines for, you know, sponsors and that kind of stuff where we like to be a little bit more playful with our stuff. So, um, talking, you know, to different vendors, different options of things we can do. Now we've been doing this for a long time. So whether it's something that's vinyl or foam or die cut or whatever, like we have fun with it. The interesting part about what we're doing is this is year one. I know that it's, you know, we've been, we've had 10 events, um, but this is still year one in Texas. And all those year one feelings start to come back because you're like, well, I haven't, you know, I haven't really lived it. I haven't really felt it. Um, yes, we've been there, but we haven't felt it. And I think part of the pedigree to who we are in Wisconsin is we've really melded that place into our thing. I know where all this stuff is at. I know their plans, our plans. I know how people flow throughout the place, whether they're guests or us, uh, staff, cook staff, wait staff. Um, we know it in and out. And we play off of that, which is, which is neat because um, we try to use it to everybody's advantage, right? In Texas, we just don't know the place. So I think back to year one of, of that conference and I think of how scrappy we were, you know, the things that we made and why we made them, not just because of cost, well, mostly because of cost, but, but it was super scrappy. How could you take a thing and kind of get the biggest bang for it, whether that's eyeballs or um, people commenting or, or enjoying it or um, whatever, All, whatever. How do you get the biggest bang for your buck? And when we think about Texas, the place is just huge. Um, and so the surface area and the opportunities are bigger. So when you're talking about something like signs, which cost many thousands of dollars, um, and as things get larger, right, bigger windows or flags or whatever, um, you know, the price obviously increases. Now you have your bang for your buck is you know, like, what? what is it really? Does it, is it worth it? Maybe, I don't know, right? We haven't lived it. We don't, we haven't, we haven't really felt it yet. And I think where we landed come the end of the day was, we're gonna go scrappy. We're gonna go back to those year one roots and that year one feeling because the reality is we haven't succeeded yet. Now I'm confident that we will, but 
you know, we are taking less sponsors because it's new. Um, now that may seem like an oddball thing to do, but I want them to have their best time. Um, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to necessarily manage 30, 35, 40 sponsors. I want the ones who want to like set the stage for us for the years to come. Um, so we'll, you know, we'll only have a few or a handful in them. You know, we're not going to have 1800 people, which is great. So we're gonna have a smaller set of people. So how do we have fun with the smaller set? Hence that year one vibe and kind of play to that and that intimacy, if you will, um, for the future. It's funny because that's where the day started talking to folks about pricing and cut times and or cut times pricing and things that we would make and how much it cost trying to get within budget of what we want to do and then ended with, okay, well, we got to have the final list of the things to go do. Um, and I guess I, I bring it up because, okay, signs aren't very whatever in the grand scheme of things, like you may be sitting there going, Clark, I don't really give a shit. Like signs are cool. Great. Get them done. Print them. Be out. But I, I think about other things when we build products and we do things and you have to make decisions and, and it, it all matters, right? It all, it all has drives a behavior or feeling, feeling or something in the grand scheme of things. And, um, those, those little details do matter. So we need to be mindful of that, not just from a, you know, cost perspective, but you know, from the time somebody gets out of their car and walks through or meets, meets somebody you know, the check-in, like all of those things matter and we play a role in that, right? The Kalahari in some regards represents us, we represent them, you know, together we want everybody to have like this just amazing experience and to continue to come back. So signs, like that's, that was today. I mean, I mean, there was a bunch of, what, what else did we do? Let's see, litany of email and meetings and Features, outreach, found another place that's blocking the .us domain. And if you're a company or an ISP or whatever in the US and you block the .us domain, shame on you. It annoys the living shit out of me. And you may be sitting there thinking, really, that's kind of bold. But when like the local ISP is blocking the United States domain, what? Like, come on. So that's Wednesday, that's hump day. We got an event coming up on the 15th. That's I think next Wednesday. So you better come join us. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. It completely change your life. So with that, I'm out. Like, I appreciate the comments. Subscribe, like, bells, create an account on that, that us. But they truly do appreciate the fact that there are people watching and watching to the end that you text me, that you hit us up in Slack or in text messages and, um, and yeah, I appreciate it. So this morning, so there's 225 tickets to sell. We sold one, one brick got laid, 224 more to go. So with that, I'm out. It's like 6.30, I need to eat some food. I need to edit this and I'll see you tomorrow.